friend, my name is Aaliyah and the goal with this channel is to help make all things Mexico sound not so foreign to foreigners. And in this video, I will be showing you how to 1. Check to see if you have an RFC registered, 2. If you do, what that RFC is, or 3. If you don't, how to make an appointment to get one set up. So let's jump straight in. First, you go to the website sat.gov. Dot mx. I'll put it up on the screen as well as in the description portion of the video. Once you arrive at the website, you make sure you're on Personas aquí. You click Personas, and you go to Trámites del RFC, and you go all the way down to Vermas, and you go all the way down to the bottom of this page under Validación del RFC, and then you go down to the third one to see if you have an RFC. This page will pop up. And you can scroll all the way down and you'll see this button. But if you would like to read this in English, there's a button here. I'm using Safari for my browser. And in the top right side uh, of the URL, there is a section here to translate it into English. So I'm going to click Translate into English. Scroll down to the bottom and click the big yellow button. Next, you will come to this screen and it'll give you two options to select the kind of person you are. If you're looking for the RFC for a person, an individual, you will click Persona Física, or if you're looking for the RFC for a business or corporation, you will type in Persona Moral. But for this instance, I'm gonna type in Persona Física. Next, you will select the type of document you'll use to find your RFC, either your RFC or your CURP. And for this instance, we're going to assume you don't know if you're in the system or not. So we're going to click our CURP. And then here, we will type it in. For citizens of Mexico, your CURP is usually on your birth certificate. And for residents of Mexico, your CURP is usually on your resident card. But if it isn't, I did make a video on how to find your CURP. You confirm that you're not a robot by typing in this. And there it is. You will see that you are indeed registered and have an RFC because this message pops up. And I'll put a screenshot up of what you will see if you do not have an RFC registered. And if that message does pop up that you are not registered, you can skip to step three and begin making your appointment. But if you do have an RFC and you don't know what it is and you need to write it down for an application, you start off at the same website, sat.gov.mx. You make sure you are on personas. You go down to Trámites del RFC. You again go down to Ver Más. You scroll all the way down to Validación del RFC. And then this time, you're going to click the first option, Consulta tu clave del RFC mediante your CURP, which just means you want to check to see what your actual RFC is through typing in your CURP. After you click that, it will bring you to this page, which again, I'll translate in English for you so you can read that if you would like. So this is the process. You scroll all the way down again, as you did before, and you click the big yellow button. But this time around, you'll see that it's a lot more information required. It's more of a security measure so that not anyone can just get your RFC. As before, you start off with your CURP. You type that in if you know it. Next, the año de inscripción. So it will be the year that you got your RFC. And fun fact with this section, if you got your RFC, on or after 2020, then you will just select 2020. So if you got yours in 2021, 2022, or sometime in the future if you're watching this video, you can select 2020. Or hopefully by the time you're watching this video, more will be added. Next is your zip code, Código Postal. And this again is your zip code at the time of your inscription or at the time you got your RFC. Next is the Entidad Federativa, or the state in Mexico where you got your RFC. And next is Eres empleado, are you employed? And then next is the telephone that you registered with when you got your RFC. And then next, proving that you're not a robot, I'm just gonna change the image for this one because I have no clue what this is. Okay, that one is a little bit better. <laughs> I'll try that one. And there it is, your RFC will pop up here. <laughs> it's good to know your RFC, you can write this number down and file it somewhere, but in most cases, when you're filling out an application and they need your RFC, they will ask for your constancia de situación fiscal. And I'll make a later video on how to get and print that. Let's go to step three, how to make an appointment to get an RFC. For that one, you wanna to go to citas.sat.gov.mx. I'll put it on the screen, as well as in the description portion of the video. And this will pop up. I'll put it in English for you. 
I usually just close it and then you click make an appointment. So then you'll get these three options and you will click on the third one, which is registering for your RFC as an individual. It starts with your kurp, then your full first name and then your email or your preferred email and make sure you have access to that email because they will be sending a verification code. Next, you will confirm the email, make sure you typed it in right and then you will accept the terms and conditions. And of course, my favorite part, proving I'm not a robot. Let's see if I can get this right. Close one. Okay, so then you click next. For me, I get this mess, this red message here because I already have an RFC. But for you, the next page you click uh, what you're trying to do. In my case, as a resident of Mexico, I clicked on that first drop down. I scrolled all the way down to the option that had in parentheses casos especiales. And next, you choose the state where you want to register your appointment at the SAT office. And then next, you choose the location within that state. Next, there will be a message that pops up letting you know that there is a virtual line. So in order to get in that virtual line, you will have to confirm your email and it will let you know that you have successfully entered the virtual waiting line. And once your turn pops up, something like this email will be sent to you. And I'll make a future video on the actual process that happens at appointment day at the SAT office. If you need to for any reason, check to see where you are in the virtual waiting line, you can go back to the same exact website, citas.sat.gob.mx. Same <laughs> advising message will pop up. You can close it, but instead of making the appointment, you're now checking it. And then you can consult using your CURP. So you just check that button and then you type in your CURP here. Next, you type in your email. And next, you make sure you're not a robot. And then it'll say it sent your email a token. I will usually copy it from my browser. Then I paste it in. I confirm. And then it will tell you where you are in the line. This is actually for my husband. But stay tuned and I'll let you know how my husband actually skipped the line and got an RFC before his appointment date. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this video proved helpful. If it did, like it.